hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will be creating a video calling application similar to the google meet or the zoom so when you land on the application you will be presented with this ui where you can input your name and you can copy the meeting link and share it with, with your friends or the family so they can join using this link and also before joining the meeting uh, you can switch on uh, or off your camera and as well as the switch on your audio and of course you can test your audio and the video before joining them so let's join the call and once you have joined this will be the view you will be seeing and you can see the list of the users or members who have joined the meeting and you can chat with them and also here we can uh, again see the meeting link and you can anytime end the meeting and it will uh, give a confirmation pop-up right so let's cancel and you can mute yourself or switch off or on the camera and you can share your screen as well. So you can share any window or the entire screen or any the tab, right? So let's copy this uh, link and join from another user as well. So let me paste it here. So if I hit enter and we can give it name code with, right? And here again, we are all getting all of the settings, right? So we can switch off the microphone and we can join so here you go so we have joined with uh, two users one is this amir and uh, the other one is the code with right so if we click on the users so here you go there are two users and we can chat with each other as well so we can say welcome and if i send the message so it will appear on the other side as well so there's a little notification dot and if, if i click on that here you go with the message right so in this video tutorial, we will be creating this similar application using React.js and Zigo Cloud. Zigo Cloud is a global communication service provider which provides powerful SDKs with developer friendly APIs to build many type of communication features in your applications such as video call, chat, video conference, live streaming, etc. Thanks to Zigo Cloud for those such wonderful features and this video is sponsored by Zigo Cloud as well. And if you sign up with the link I have provided in the description below you will get 10,000 free minutes. In this tutorial, we will be using Zigo Cloud's pre-built UI kit components. They have a lot of UI kits and different components and those are ready to use. And we will be using those uh, to save our time and we will get the same experience as we have shown in the uh, intro. So once you will sign up with the link I have provided in the description below, you will get 10,000 free minutes as well and this will be the uh, console you will be presented with so where you can get uh, the overview of your console the list of the projects different analytics your usage and billing etc right so you will be creating a new project here so we can say which type of project like video conference live streaming voice and video call uh, in-app chat etc right so we will be creating a project for the voice and video call and then click on the next and then we will give it a name so we can say this is a code with Amir right and then uh, then it provides the code for different type of application that we can use right so we will be using the code from the SDK for the web right so we can say start with the custom SDKs it will uh, take some time so I will be back once it's done all right it's done so these are the details of the project code with Amir so we will be needing the app id as well as the server secret right so you can uh, copy the app id as well as the server secret and we will be needing this to create our application so let's go ahead and create the react.js application and start using the zico cloud apis so let's open the terminal and create a brand new react.js project so we can say npx create react app and we can name that we can say zico cloud call app right so it will take some time to create the application so i will be back once it's done all right so react.js application has been created so zero cloud call app and if we go to the terminal and we can say npm start so once the server started and this is what we see uh, the default react.js application right so let's go ahead and in the app.js we can remove uh all of the code we will we will be creating our own application component right so we can remove that and from the zigo cloud documentation under the call kit 
right and for the web javascript we will be using the npm package manager right so this is the command to install the sdk for the zigo cloud so we can copy this one and let's install that so once it's installed so the next step is we need to create the token and then uh, th that will be created using the app id and the app server secret so that i said earlier that we will be using those uh, two ids right so what we need to do is so we can uh, copy this whole code for the react so what it is doing is it is importing the zigo ui kit pre-built component right and here it is only generating the random id we can generate any random id right so and here it is uh, getting the the room from room id from the params so if it is there we can uh, get from there otherwise we can hard code that as well right so we can copy this uh, the app component so what it is do doing is it is creating the room id then it's creating a meeting so in that uh, function what it need is app id we will be providing the app id then the server secret and then we will be getting the the token right the first step is to create the token the second step is uh, we create the instance of the kit we can call it zp and then we will uh, be joining the room so these are the three steps that we will be using so let's start copying each of these lines so we can copy the import and then we can uh let's do not copy the random id and then the this url param so next we need to copy this whole app function so we can say this is the app right and here we will be providing the app id as well as the uh, the secret right so i recommend that instead of uh, adding this here we will be creating a constant file or the environment file from where we will be adding uh, these secrets right so let me create a simple constants dot js file right and here we can say export const app id and we will be providing the app id here i will be actually copying the app id and pasting it here later so we can say export const uh, the other one is the server secret right so we can say server secret and it will be a string right so we can save it and we can say it will be the the app id right and it will be the server secret right so let me copy both of these ids and paste it here right the actual values right so I have pasted the actual values uh, in the constant.js, right? So the next thing is we need to generate the token, providing the app ID, the app secret, then the room ID, right? And we can here uh, say either it is random generated or we can get it from any parameters or get it from the API or anywhere we will be getting it. So for simplicity, we will be hard coding here. We will be saying that code with Amir, right? So this will be our room id then this will be uh, the user id if we go into the details of this function so we have to provide the app id the secret room id then the user id and the username right so we can hard code the user id or we can randomly generate the user id and then the username as well so here we can say uh, this will be maybe we can say it is a uh, date dot no okay. Uh, convert it to the string right and then this will be the the username so we can hard code it to maybe amir right so once we have created the token then we need to create the instance of the zigo cloud right so we can say zigo ui kit pre -build that create uh, the instance using the token we have provided here right and then we will be joining the room right so for joining the room we, we need to uh, provide the container on which the this ui should be appearing right so if we go into into the return what uh, jsx is returning is a simple div right so giving it a class name we can remove that because we do not have any you can see the uh, styling here right and we will be providing the reference of the div or the component on which we want this ego cloud 
call UI to be appearing, right? So we can show the Zigo Cloud call UI on any of our component, right? So we are showing this right now on the div and giving it a style of 100 uh, VWN, 100 VH width height. So it is uh, full width and full height, right? So this is the uh, only div that we are creating here, right? So giving the reference uh, to that element here, right? It will be passed here. And then uh, let, again, we are uh, here, uh, what we are using other configuration like uh, we will be sh uh, showing the shared links like uh, so you saw in the intro that uh, there was a link for the person uh, for this meeting so this is how it will be created using uh, it will be saying http or https then the double slash and then uh, it will be saying localhost or very wherever it is deployed then this the path name maybe it is a localhost slash rooms localhost slash abc something right and then there will be a room id and the room id we have provided at the top right and next uh, we will provide in the scenario so there are multiple scenarios available we can say it is a group call or we can say one or one call or it is a chat or something right so these are the uh, configuration we will be using there are other configurations available as well so maybe we can say whether we need to show the camera toggle button or not whether we need to show only the audio users and if we go into the details so these are the different type of configurations available right so we have provided the container then the scenarios right and then we can say turn on microphone when joining or if we, if it is true then it will by default turn on uh, right it is uh, enabled by default so it will be turned on by default if you want to by default to be off we can make it to false similarly for the camera right and whether it should be front camera or the back camera if for the mobiles right and then other configuration like show the microphone toggle button or the video right and then we can show the branding the logo url uh, right and also uh, there are a uh, few callbacks available right when user join the when anyone join the room when anyone leave the room right so these different type of uh, callbacks are also available you can listen to those callbacks and act upon accordingly right so we can remove this one and if i save it and go to the ui and see what it does here you go right so this is the ui so we have the options for muting the microphone the camera right and the option to test the audio and the video right and this is the name of uh, we have provided here uh, here right so this will be by default appearing here we can change it to anything if needed right and this is the uh, link we gen we have generated and we can copy this one and other one uh, will be joining using this link right so let's join this link here you go we have joined and there is only one user so let's copy the same link here and give it a name maybe we can say code with right and let's mute uh, both of the users so that there's no echo right so if i join so the number of users are two right one is code with this is you and here it is the amir this is you right and we can uh, chat with each other as well right so sending a chat message as you go it has appearing a simple notification dot so we can chat and so here you see uh, we have the the share screen button as well so in the configurations we can hide that if needed it will be something screen uh, show screen sharing button and if i say to false right and if i save it and go back and just uh, refresh it and we can join you see now there are no share screen button here right so similarly we can uh, add or edit any of the configurations uh, from the this list right so this is the code uh, we need to write to create a calling application right so it's very simple we just need to import the zigo ui kit pre-built component and uh, create the token using the app id and the app secret providing the uh, the room id and the user id and the username and then creating the instance of the zigo cloud and then just joining with different type of configurations so that's it on exploring the zigo cloud calling application sdks and different apis
but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below or you can directly go to the azure cloud support for different type of problems if you are facing in integrating their sdks or apis and if you learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you